Hi, cybersecurity professionals. Thank you for staying with this channel. Now, we've come to the next week of our sharing. And if you're into data privacy and have not watched the previous videos on data privacy, I'll suggest you watch the video first. This will allow you to have a clear picture of the whole topics and you'll be able to follow the teachings and the lessons. Do remember our sharings and all the paperwork will be to gear and train everyone to be a cybersecurity professional. Today, we'll be going through the 10 data security measures. Every project manager must implement. This will be a guideline to help them to keep their toes on. And then we'll be moving on to understand how thinking about data protection will reduce the overall product costs. Stay tuned and we'll be moving on. I work with many project managers and project directors with PMP certifications. Project Management Professional Certifications, also known as PMP, is a destination given by the Project Management Institute, PMI, to professionals who met certain education and experience criteria. There are many requirements that professionals must meet before they can apply for that certifications. And below are tens of the common data security measures which they indicate is a must for their fellow project manager to know. From ransom to cyber espionage, hackers have developed sophisticated technologies to break into your project data and get away with critical information. Even well-known companies such as Amazon has fallen victims to large data losses. A data breach can be disastrous for your projects, destroying the trust in your business and spoiling your company brand name. If you want to learn more about data privacy and data protections, do reach out to me personally and I'll update you with the latest attacks and procedures. Now, we'll go through the top 10 data security measures every project manager must implement. First, invest in an antivirus. Install a trusted antivirus to protect your project data from a variety of security threats, such as viruses, trojans, malware, spyware, and worms. Free solutions can only provide basic security. Invest in a reliable premium solutions that not only protects your data, but also allow your employees to securely browse the web and use emails. Ensure that the antivirus also provide real-time scanning to block any intrusion attempts as they happen. And for company level, it's good to have an antivirus with a portal for reporting. So it's a lot easier to trace and report your weekly or monthly threats. Back up your data regularly will be the next topic we will look into. If you don't back up your data, then you risk losing it. Ensure that you back up your data frequently so you can restore it quickly in case it is hacked. Make copies of your data and store it in cloud storage solutions like Google Cloud. Dropbox or Box.net. It will also ensure that your project runs smoothly in case of infrastructure failures, such as laptop crashes or network issue. Schedule regular backup of your data so you don't have to regret it later. Third, use a firewall. A firewall is one of the best ways to protect your network. It secures your projects by allowing to control the internal and external traffic coming in and going out of your network. Start by installing a reputable firewall to manage data access and permissions. The key is to create multi layers of security that makes it difficult for hackers to get in. And you would ask me, firewall is just a layer of a security guard. It helps to do your filtering of your packages 
like human traffic coming in and going out of your company. Fourth, use a strong password. Do you know that in 93% of data breaches, hackers take less than a minute to break into the target system? Simple, easy to guess password enables hackers to compromise your systems. According to Microsoft, you should never use personal details and common words spell backwards in your password. Use passwords that are hard to guess. There are 10 to 12 characters in length and consist of alphabets, numbers, and special characters. Also, do not anyhow store your password. Next, use encryption software. Although laptops, tablets, and mobile have replaced desktop at the workplace, their portability make them vulnerable to being stolen. So use these encryption softwares such as BigLogger to encrypt your devices. It provides 256-bit AES bank-level security encryptions for your data. It's already installed on most Windows operating systems and very easy to use. Make sure that employees have not turned it off to speed up their systems. And use a mobile device management. Now will be part two. Update your software. Many companies avoid updating their software and platforms to save licensing costs and avoid compatibility problems. However, it leaves your business open to security attacks. Ensure that you are not only use good software but also update regularly. This will fix numerous bugs and security vulnerabilities that can be exploited by hackers. Most software, operating system, browsers, email clients is set to auto download and install the latest update. But many users turn it off to save bandwidth. And also a lot of system administrators, they turn it off so that they can monitor the patches. Our advice to leave it on to protect your data and to frequently check the patches. Then we have secured mobile devices. Mobile devices have set the standards almost every workplace. BYOD, bring your own device, is very common in many companies. From checking emails to sharing documents to sending chat messages, mobile devices are increasingly being used to store and share sensitive information. Since they are easy to get lost or stolen, it's essential to take mobile security seriously. The best way to secure your mobile devices is to enable their advanced security features such as two-factor authentication, remote wiping, and encryptions. All these will need in-depth studies on a tool called MDM, Mobile Device Management. Now, we look at protecting wireless networks. Whether your team is in a video conference or collaboratively working on a deliverable, people are increasingly depending on wireless networks to get job done. Unfortunately, wireless networks are more susceptible to cyber attacks than wire networks because of their open nature. So you need to be extra careful about securing your wireless networks. Instead of using old WEP, wireless equivalent privacy technology, switch to a more secure WPA2, Wi-Fi protected access to version 2. Also, if possible, add an extra layer of security by using complex PSK pre-shared keys. Watch out for suspicious activities. If your system is compromised, it will immediately show an unusual amount of activities. Set up security alerts to be notified about unauthorized access and data breaches. Monitor key performance indicators of your network using real-time dashboards. Many of these dashboard solutions easily integrate with popular software and tools. 
and allow you to track all your KPIs from one place. It also allows you to pull out weekly or monthly reports for easier reporting. Finally, train your team. It's not enough to build a secure infrastructure. It's equally important to educate your team and your staffs about cybersecurity and data security. Sometimes, data breach also happen because employees usually share data, password, and documents. Educate your employees about your security protocols and policy. Also, if possible, conduct role-playing workshops to simulate real-life scenarios. Create awareness using video tutorials and Q&A sections. This will teach them how to use your hardware, software, and data the right way. Also, teach them safe browsing habits so they can avoid external threats, such as malicious email, unsafe plugins, and harmful software. This will also train them on how to securely access sensitive information on public Wi-Fi networks. With the rise in cyber attacks, data security has becoming more important than ever. A data breach can compromise your projects and prevent it from being a success. It can destroy your team's hard work and allow competitors to steal your data. Double steps will help you create a multi-layer security system that not only safeguards your project, but also allows you to identify, prevent, and emulate the risk of cyber attacks. As a bonus and interesting sharing, I'll be sharing how making data privacy and cybersecurity in place will be able to create profit for your project and company. There are five reasons how you'll bring profit to your company. It will preserve your reputations. It will ensure your company is protected from reputational damage or loss of trust. As we shared in the earlier parts of this sharing, the fine by the authority is no joking matters and can result in the company going bankrupt. Also, the loss of trust from your customers, your company stakeholders, and your customer staffs is no joking matter as well. No project manager will want to incur a data privacy fine and result the failure of the projects in their hand. Understand the importance of data privacy and the 10 steps on how to ensure data security is implemented will help to identify data problems early. It will help to save the project from incurring investigation costs when there's a breach, setting up new measures to protect the existing environment, and also implement a risk transfer policy. Buying a risk transfer policy like cyber insurance after incidents happen will result in a higher cost for the company. Finding issues and fix them quickly will help to reduce and save on the overall costs. Having a data protection trust mark will be the best practice and the best way to achieve any data privacy in the company. This data protection trust mark will help to improve the morale of the staff. To achieve such trust mark, the company ensures data privacy is in place for their new staff and recap of such new knowledge on their existing staff. Sometimes, staff will feel proud in working in such company. And with such well-established achievements, morale will affect the work productivity of the projects. With a high morale, work will be completed with a better quality as well. Data Protection Trust Mark will also help to avoid litigations. It minimizes the chance of consumer or staff litigations. In a corporate life, I've seen companies being awarded projects just because they have such a trust marks. Just like a customer will trust your project manager if he's a PMP, Project Management Professional Certified. 
Lastly, as you keep mentioning, the fine by authority is no joke. Having awareness of data privacy in place will allow the project manager to ensure and provide the project team of a higher of project success and minimizes the chance of getting fined by the authority. Thank you for your time and interest in finding out and the support to find out more about data privacy. The eagerness to learn and gear oneself up to be a professional may be tiring at the start, but do not give up and keep the determination going. You will be able to reach there one fine day. If you still find any missing gaps or need to recap your understanding to review the topics, do so by replaying the video. I'll see you soon in the next sharing.